Hi, I'm Kay York. I'm the HP and Technologies Learning Area Manager at the QCAA. With most students having now completed their internal assessments in general subjects, I'm sure thoughts are turning to the external assessment. All general subjects have an external assessment component. The exam block runs from late October to mid-November. Your school will help you prepare and I hope you'll find the following insights useful as well. For technology subjects, you'll have one exam paper. It will test your knowledge of Unit 4 in the syllabus and is worth 25% of your subject result. The paper is two hours long with 10 to 15 minutes perusal time or 15 minutes planning time in design. The papers for aerospace systems, digital solutions and engineering will include multiple choice, short response and extended response items. The paper for food and nutrition includes short response items and an extended response item. And the paper for design will include one extended response item. The items test how well you're able to recognise and describe concepts, symbolise and or explain ideas, analyse problems and or determine solutions, synthesise and or evaluate information. You'll do the sort of tasks you've done in class. So that's calculating in engineering and aerospace systems, interpreting data, graphs, tables or diagrams, analysing stimulus, and in design, devising and representing ideas using sketching. Your teachers will be a great sources of advice and support. But to get ready, you can also visit the MyQCE website and look over the external assessment page. Download the exam timetable, look at the subject syllabus and check the objectives for Unit 4 and the external assessment. Note that not all unit objectives will be assessed in the external assessment. Revise the subject matter for Unit 4 and be familiar with the problem solving process or the design process in design. And finally, check out the sample assessment papers on the syllabus page. But most importantly, look after your health and well-being. Little things can make a big difference. Take regular breaks when you study or study with friends or another group. And don't hesitate to ask for help if you have questions or feel anxious. I wish you success in your exams and in whatever pathway you follow after school.